ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, once again, you are in for the greatest show on earth, Mimi's Venom and Honey, featuring Dirty Dave from InfernalDreams.net. Or maybe just a mediocre vlog entry. Hey. <laughs> I am back home from the beach. I love you, baby. We have something to talk about. You did that on camera. What a dumbass thing to do. Anyway. Oh, shit. <laughs> Came back from Virginia Beach in Virginia. Blood on the beach. First convention. Al. Fucking great job. Oh my god, everybody I've Why don't you tell with us a little bit about had a it? Great time. Shall I? Shall you? Well, we had the 25th Shall anniversary you? reunion of the Lost Boys. BAM! It was awesome. And first time convention guest, Ed Herman. Congratulations on getting him. You know what? I don't like how that looks on the glasses. I can see it. Congratulations on getting him. He was delightful. He was very he was old school Hollywood. He was very gracious. Just, just made sure everybody had a good he time. He seemed like him. an awesome gentleman. Oh yeah, he was wonderful. I wish I could have got an interview with him, but it just it wasn't happening. You get what you can. I did, and I did get, and it's already been posted. Interview with Brooke McCarter, Billy Worth, G. Tom Mack, Jameson Newlander, Nathan Basil. How do who do we know from Nathan Basil from? Nathan Basil is none other than Leslie Vernon from Behind the Mask, The Rise of Leslie, Leslie Vernon. And also, hey, well, Before the Mask. The, what is the Return of Leslie? The Return of Leslie the Vernon. Re it's like a backstory. The Return of Leslie Vernon. Yeah. And uh, if you go to uh, Before the Mask on Facebook. The link is in the interview video, so you'll have to watch the interview video. And it's also, if you go to mine, Dirty Dave's... Facebook. Hey. <laughs> Ugh, sorry. <laughs> Dude, we're still rolling, say that again. <laughs> now, if you go to my Facebook, Dirty Dave's, David Rupp, um, I have a link to their Facebook page, and they're doing something really unique. Um, They've got the script, they got the cast, they got everything ready to roll. They're just uh, doing some, uh, almost like a Kickstarter program, which uh, you can go there, you know, you donate so much money and... Uh, get certain perks. Yeah. Like Special edition They DVD. should sign it. We're giving them a lot of cover. Nathan, you heard that. Come on, cut him out a break. I, I give you a hay you. knife to sign. I love you, Nathan. Yes, and he gave it back. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Seven grand and more. Kitty! Sorry. What I the have, hell? I have ADHD. <laughs> Speaking of Hatchet, guess who's going to be at Scarefest? Kane Hodder? <laughs> yeah. Kane Hodder gives you gas, doesn't he? Oh, shut up. Oh, I hate you today. There was. <laughs> Tori, our basement, anytime. Tori, absolutely. For Tori. You were missed, girl. We love you so much. Dwayne, there's your cat. <laughs> and Chuck's not on the camera. Wannabe? Hello. There's Chuck. There's his cat, Jill. Anyway, this episode of uh, Mimi's Venom and Honey is being recorded in our basement, which I finally got cleaned up. Contamination. And where is contamination? St. Louis, Missouri with my girls, Bridget and Kimmy. Bridget, Kim, I look forward to meeting you there. I love my lost girls, I love my lost girls, I love my lost girls. Also, uh... Who's gonna be at Contamination Dirty Dave? Well, Infernal Dreams and Dirty Dave have their own table aside from the Timo and Harley show this year, thanks to hosting. Dave Dyer. Timo and Harley are not only the podcast sponsors of Contamination 2012 3D, they are bringing in the one and only Danny Hicks. Oh, yeah. 
who was Jake from who the Evil Dead. Who else are they having at Contamination? Well, they're having for uh, another year, Seika, who <laughs> is really awesome. Beautiful person, inside and out. There's Trust me, I'd like to know inside, but... Yeah. Uh, and she and is, is bringing... Bringing in the one, the only Don't adult film star, Ron Jeremy, who is also known for uh, several straight films, which people may or may not know. Oh, everybody's uh, seen Detroit Rock City. Detroit Rock City, One-Eyed Monster. Um, he also had a really good role in... Sexy and I Know, ladies and gentlemen, be there too. I'm sure Joel will be Shameless there. Shameless plug. Joel Robinson will also be doing the uh, Night Film the Fest. Club Chaos oh, dance sorry. party. He does. I got a picture of him doing that. Yeah, that seems yeah. to be his after hours thing, and it's doing very well. It's well received. Yeah, he did that after after uh, Alice Creeper. Yeah. On the beach. A lot of people dug it. Yeah. And uh, it was some old school shit. It was last cool. year at Contamination at Joel's Club Chaos dance party. Um, Bigfoot showed up. Yeah, I, I pussied out and went to bed early and it won't happen again. Well, evidently Bigfoot was a big sensation, so I hear a rumor that this year at Contamination in St. Louis at Club Chaos, which is Joel Robinson's dance party, Bigfoot may be making another Also at Contamination, Eddie Munster, Butch Patrick, Marilyn Munster, Pat, Pat Priest. Priest, and and, and motherfuckers, freaking Peter Mayhew, who is known for Chewbacca Boogie. That was horrible, I know, but <laughs> sure so only he can do that. I think it's kind of um, interesting, and I look forward to checking it out. I think zombies are starting to jump the shark. Zombies? Zombies. Zombies. Is that like a John McCain zombie? Oh my god. He's almost he a can't zombie. Kill him. Hey, He's um, almost. Fright Night Film Fest. Yes. They got some uh, really good guests there. Really good? Yeah, really Corey Coleman. Continuing on that Lost Boys thing. Yep. I'm gonna meet me some Corey Feldman. <laughs> but uh, yeah, there's uh, some really good guests that are gonna be at Friday night. Bruce Campbell? Saturday only, Bruce Campbell. Bruce Campbell. The man in the woods himself. Also on a really good show, Burn Notice. And yep. uh, they call Bubba me Bruce. Hotep. Bubba Hotep. Oh they call me Bruce. He's emulating Bubba Hotep. Yeah, guess who else was to call me Bruce? Danny Hicks. Danny Hicks! He's going to be there, the friend of the Timo and Harley show. And a little shameless plug there. Um, they have the Timo and Danny Hicks brain invasion. Featuring the single. The Ballad of B Jake and Bobby Joe. Jones. Contamination Jake. and Fright Night Film Fest in June. Mm -hmm. It's going to be Scarefest in September. double bad good times this it's summer. It's going to be pretty epic. And Scarefest. It, hello. Sarah the Wonder Pup. She loves her dad. She does. <laughs> I got puppy kisses. Puppy kisses. Puppy kisses. So much for having a serious horror blog. Oh, I'm sorry. Did you think it was going to be serious? No. Mm. Hubba da hubba da. You're bad. Yeah. Shameless yes. plug. If you ever need t-shirts, really quality horror original t-shirts, there's two places to go. Two. Really? Yeah. Okay. The first... <laughs> is Ben Harley's ScreenPrintingFactory.com. He does some really great shirts. He does shirts for some of the uh, wrestling circuits. Like, he's done Rhino shirts. Um, he's worked with Billy Corrigan. What? He's the only t-shirt dealer who is licensed to do Dark Knight of the Scarecrow t-shirts. True. Licensed with J.D. Fugelson. That's an actual fact. And he does really good work. And he works out in Toledo, Ohio. You go to the screenprintingfactory.com and you can order from there or catch him at a show. He's got 
it, new shirts out all the time. Really great shirts. Sh stuff that I wear. He's the guy oh. in the throwback shirt and the fez. Oh yeah. Look for the guy in the fez. In the cape. We bond because he's also an Alice Cooper fanatic. Now the other place to go for shirts is fastcustomshirts.com. T-shirt Joe? T-shirt Joe. T-shirt Joe. Joe Garcia? God bless T-shirt Joe. T-shirt Joe has taken more money from me, Ben, and Timo. My ass, you guys trade. Oh, trust me, we bought our <laughs> share of shirts from him. Every time we see him, he has something new that we just have to get. So, fastcustomshirts.com, T-shirt Joe out of Texas. He's He does a lot of shows too. Yeah, a little tip for T-shirt Joe. I've yet to see a Lost Boy shirt. I've yet to see an Alice Cooper shirt from T-Shirt Show. I don't know about Alice Cooper, but I mean, he's got some awesome shirts like Razorback. Shirts. One last Alex Winter was at freaking Whorehound. One stall was selling Lost Boys T-shirts, and it was just keep for. There you go, Joe. I'm just saying. Lost Boys shirts, they might sell. I'm just saying. Thank you for watching Venom and Honey, Aunt Mimi, and Dirty Dave, InfernalDreams.net. We will see you at Contamination. Because we are together again, like peanut butter and chocolate. See you at Contamination.